Well, hey everyone, welcome to this time of guided prayer. Today we're going to use scripture to guide us through this prayer of about five minutes in length. As you know, there are hundreds of prayers recorded in scripture. Today we're going to turn to none other than the model prayer Jesus gave the disciples when they asked how to pray, teaching them not what to pray, but how to pray. We're going to go through this prayer, so get comfortable, quiet your heart and mind, be in this moment with God. Take a few deep breaths and close your eyes. And this is how Jesus taught us to pray. He taught us to pray and begin with Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And this is the way to begin the prayer, and it has to do with praise. Just give the Lord praise. that he uses that personal word, Father. Secondly, Jesus taught us to pray, Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is a prayer of priority. How often we walk our lives according to our own priorities, our own wants, our own needs, selfishly. Align your priorities with the Lord. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and on all these things will be added unto you. And He taught us, give us today our daily bread. short phrase that encompasses the prayer for provision. Just pray to the Lord. Ask Him for what you need. Bread is symbolic of all the needs. It's a human need. We all have needs. Just ask God to fill that need today. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. This is a twofold prayer of pardon. This is the prayer of pardon. God, would you pardon me for the things I've done to offend you? And the interesting wording of past tense, have forgiven our debtors. There's people who've wronged us. It's our job to forgive them. To forgive today. Maybe you have to need to ask the Lord for forgiveness today. And then this deep prayer for protection and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one or from evil itself. Just invite the Lord to protect you and your family marriage if it applies, and your business if it applies, and your job, your household, invite God to just protect you from the evil one. And this prayer comes full circle into praise, for yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever. Amen. A recognition of praise once again, where we just recognize 
the majesty, the power, the omnipotence of an all-seeing and all-loving God. Praise Him today. Give Him your worship. Set your heart of love upon Him. God bless you all. Have a great day.